<laughs> so I don't want to call this racism. I don't think it's bigotry. I don't know exactly what to label it, but it certainly is a big time misunderstanding. All right, I have brought just Romeo in specifically for this, whose uh, parents are from El Salvador, mm-hmm. Latino. Mm-hmm. Right. By the way, Kristen is right. Your face looks very fresh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He's <Sorry. glowing laughs> from his facial. Thanks. You bought him a, f- a facial. For a, as a belated birthday gift. Oh, okay. So you yeah. didn't just look at him one day and go, hey, dude. No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how does that work? How rude. Your, your face is a little no. busted, hey, my man. <laughs> hey, trust me on this one, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you need it. <laughs> Hold on. Here's a gift certificate to <laughs> BustedFaces.com. For the record. <laughs> Because that could be a dangerous gift to give somebody. Yeah, it is. Romeo was in here, and he was very sweet and complimented me on my skin. And I was like, oh, I just got a facial. My my girl, she's awesome. And he's like, cool. He goes, I would love one. I would love to get one. Give me the information. And I'm like, dude, done. I went, I reached out. I booked him an appointment. He showed up. And surprise, I paid for it because it was his birthday. She was waiting was for you to ask. Yeah. Oh, man. She's been checking, wait. You, checking you out for years going, God, please just ask me about this. <laughs> <laughs> you do look good. Man. You do. You do got kind of a glow yeah, to you, man. No, you really do. Seriously. Yeah, no, it's wonderful. It, it really. Uh, yeah, I feel like a, a brand new baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So help me out with this, uh, Romeo. So I have a friend who works out west. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure if this job was in Arizona or it was in California, but dude is Mexican. Uh, both of his parents are Mexican as well. He's kind of a dark skinned Mexican dude. Okay, so he's working on a construction site and most of the dudes that he works with are Mexican as well. Now, I'm not really sure how construction, the construction sites work or what the job structure is, but I know that um, he's got a dude that hires everybody. And then there's like the big, big boss, whoever Mm -hmm. that is, might even be the owner of the company. Right. Well, from time to time, the big, big boss or the owner of the company will come onto the site Uh, just to show up, make sure everything's going well. And he takes it upon himself to talk to all of the workers in Spanish who communicate back and forth with him, no problem. So this big, big boss is going up to my friend and speaking Spanish also. And my friend has never said a word to the big, big boss because although his heritage is Mexican, he has never learned Spanish. Never, Mm. never, never. So he has no idea what big, big boss is saying to him. This has gone on for months now. He was just too nervous in the beginning to say anything. So his boss keeps coming up to him and everybody else on the site just to kind of, I don't even know what they're saying, just to talk and communicate. And he never says a word, not a word, not a word in English, nothing. So he's just kind of like retreating and he feels like the boss now, he can just kind of sense that the boss is sort of turned off by his attitude. And he's- Yeah, because when you speak to somebody- you expect them to speak back to you. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I mean, he couldn't nip this in the bud the very first time it happened yeah, yeah. where Big Big Boss comes on the site and he goes, look, I don't speak Spanish. No habla espanol. That's it. Right. Yeah. Um, but he didn't. So now we're talking about months. Months? On, on the boss going in there and trying to talk to him and him not saying anything. So he's wondering here now, well, first of all, is the boss at fault for just assuming because dark-skinned Latino can speak Spanish, right? That's our first thing. And the second thing is, how do you go to Big Big Boss now and go, oh, this is going to be awkward, but I don't know Spanish. So every time you're here, I have no idea what you're saying. I think the the setting changes it for me. Uh, the simple fact that he that he is surrounded by other like Latin uh, people and Mexicans as well. Um, I think that changes it because if, he, he, if he's going around and speaking with everybody in Spanish, that's, I think, different than just uh, approaching a person that you feel is Hispanic and then just immediately talking to them in Spanish. So somebody, has anybody ever done that to you? Oh, all the time. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, I've always said this. It, it, it always bothered me because I, I think I I took my time to learn English and I would like to like first like be that default of, you know what I'm saying, of English and speak to me in English first. And then if I don't know Spanish, then like, or I mean, if I don't know English, then we can go into Spanish. But it's, I I. To take a little offense to it sometimes. Um, and same thing with, like, I have uh, some uncles who, who learn English um, 
like in their like 40s or whatever mm -hmm. and so they have a thick accent so whenever they uh um my uncle who works in construction he's approaching a, a builder or a contractor and they the he's a white guy and then they start talking to him in spanish he almost feels a little offended because he he took time to go to english classes mm -hmm. and learn the language and now he's because of his accent mm -hmm. he feels like they don't understand me now i have this white guy trying to talk to me and it, it almost feels like all that hard work was for nothing i see mm. so i think that the setting changes it for me because i feel like if he, he is surrounded by a lot of like Hispanic people as well. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's racist to just assume because he's doing it like in a way like he's talking to everybody. Mm -hmm. And it also depends on how he's doing. If he's going around and saying like, hey, como, like, como estas, buenos dias. Like, I think that's normal. But if it's more of like a mockery in, of, of Spanish in a sense. No, it's not like that. That's different. Yeah. I think that that's what changes it. So now to, to remedy this, because people think he is like standoffish and he doesn't want to speak to anybody and he's rude. But it's just because he doesn't know the language. So... The next time the boss tries to speak to him in Spanish, could he just be like, listen, man, I am so sorry. I panicked and didn't know what to do last time, but I just, I, I don't speak Spanish. I speak English. <laughs> I think that's the only thing yeah. you can. <laughs> I, I, more, one of my best friends is Mexican. And he doesn't know a lick of Spanish. And every time I'm with him, this happens to him. Every single time. So I, I think it's actually like really common. And I'm, I think that's all he has to do is tell him he doesn't speak Spanish. But I am genuinely shocked that he hasn't spoke to his boss at all in three months and still has a job. Mm -hmm. like, I, that, yeah, right? That's insane. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Where else can that happen? <laughs> I suggested he learn German and respond back in German. <laughs> <laughs> that would be your response. <laughs> the Bird Show. Hey, do you like what you just watched? Because you can get more Burt Show for free. We drop new podcasts every weekday. And you can find us anywhere. Spotify, Apple, any place you get podcasts.